Hi everyone, I'm Farida, and this is the Dental Radiology. Welcome to another Dental Radiology case. Let's go straight to the radiograph. This is a preapical radiograph of the right to maxillary premolars. We can see the canine, the first and second premolar, and a part of the first molar. So starting from the mesial, we have this cone cut artifact that is our mistake, and then we have these radial senses right here in the canine and the mesial on the distal of the first premolar and in the distal of the second premolar. These radial senses are not dental caries. These two in the canine and the distal of the first premolar are called cervical burnout and these two are due to the depression in the anatomy of the teeth they can mimic dental caries you can watch my video on the differentiation between cervical burnout and dental caries you can click on the link right above here then we have these two radial senses near the contact of the premolars and these are dental caries how did i find out because there is a notch in the enamel right where the contact is and it's spreading out towards the DEJ or the dentin enamel junction towards the dentin. What else we can see is the dilaceration in the roots of the both uh, second premolar and first molar. But what is this big radiolistance right here? Is it a lesion? Well, this is actually the maxillary sinus, the imaging of the floor of the maxillary sinus that is a thin, well-defined radiopac line that the maxillary sinus is nomatized inferiorly into the alveolar process between the teeth. We call it the dropping of the sinus over the apex. It is a normal variation and should not be misdiagnosed with a perapical or interradicular lesion. To rule out the lesion, you can look for normal pedial space and intact lamina dura of the teeth, of the adjacent teeth. As you can see, the lamina dura are all intact and the pedial space is detected. And there is no displacement of the teeth so it's not a lesion and it's the muxer sinus that is nomatized inside the alveolar process if you want to know that how to find out if the roots are inside the sinus or not please check out this link above to learn more about this okay thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe if it was helpful please feel free to share it and press that bell button for getting notifications for my next videos. Keep smiling and have an awesome day.